Hello guys and girls and fellow gamers, welcome back to another Red Dead Minecraft, t well, would I say it's a tutorial build? No, it's, it's kind of like a free build for you guys to uh, to follow and build if you want, or just to watch. Never really said what it is actually, but hmm, that's an interesting thought. But anyway, we're back for part 7, and in today's video we're going to be building a western saloon bar, which I have put off for a long long time because I didn't have a clue how I was going to build one until I've seen that the town has been growing at a rate that I decided that I needed to actually man up and do something about it so today we are going to be building a western saloon bar um, I have already made a start and you'll see what I've done so far and I'm quite happy with what I've done so also what I have done is if you look over here I've built a it's kind of like a, a makeshift camp a, with a storage area and some boxes you know maybe someone set up a shop here but I felt it needed something on the uh, the edge of the town here next to the sheriff's um, building and the jailhouse so that that kind of ties it in nicely and it fits in with the theme over here so it's not it sort of balances the town out very nicely um, the further in you go, obviously, the more busy the structures get. Uh, and I've done the same here as well. I've built a little corner street shop storage area, which fits in with the street there. And what I've discovered also is by placing some of these pressure plates, pads down as well, it gives you the, the feeling of... Um, these have just been makeshift um, planks that have been placed down on the ground and as you can see there's gaps in between where the sand is and it, it, I think it sort of adds an extra dimension to what we are trying to achieve on this map here and I've done the same here around there as well but anyway you're not interested in that you're more interested about what I have done in regards to the uh, the western saloon bar and this is what I have done so far if you guys are ready so that's what we have up to now. It's a two-storey western saloon bar and I've just worked on the front and the balcony as well. And overall I'm, I'm quite happy with how this structure is looking and how it's turning out. I wanted to use brick um, as opposed to wood because I wanted something that sort of fitted in with the clock tower that we built. Um, <laughs> which if you watch the previous part that'll explain why that's there but it is back to the future uh three influenced and i thought with us building a western map that seemed appropriate so there you go there's a little story there and on the corner here is going to be the saloon bar it is not going to be the saloon bar that you see out of back to the future three this is a completely different style so i don't want people posting up comments saying on Back to the Future 3, you've built the building wrong, the entrance is on the side. This is not a replica building from Back to the Future 3. That is... <laughs> this isn't. I just wanted to clarify that point there, uh, so that there isn't any confusion. So, let's carry on with the build. Um, and oh boy, where on earth do I start with this? Uh, because we worked on the front these are the little saloon doors that you get when you walk into a bar um, I might actually change this actually I could decorate the outer edge floor all the way around and then probably use a darker wood in the middle that might be a good idea actually um, but we actually need to think about what we're going to do for the uh, for the outside edge because we have got decking to build here as well so that will probably be our first job we're going to do so I'm just going to go out a little bit with this balcony area I'm not sure how far it's going to go around I haven't decided yet um, actually do we have any stairs we do got some birchwood stairs place that up there and some slabs. Uh, we don't need the sand. Not yet, anyway. 
Uh, we'll place these here for the time being. Um, actually, we don't need the slabs. Thought we did, but we don't. Could just leave that there. Like so. Anyway, we'll see how that goes as we go further on into this build. Uh, so the balcony, how far out do we want the balcony to go? Um, suppose we want it to go so far out and then we want to go down. So actually, probably don't need that at all. We could go all the way to the end. Which might look better actually, you never know. Then we could place some slabs there. Probably just three. There we go. Place one on the corner. Probably one there. And two here. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, maybe we could make another entrance further down here. <coughs> Oops, excuse me. Bit of a cough there. Um, so, yeah. Let's concentrate on the second part. Uh, I've just gone brain dead there. Yeah, we'll concentrate on the second part. That'll be it. Um, I had a, a brain freeze then. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what I'm saying. Uh, at some point, I'm going to actually have to have a think about where we're actually going to build the stairs for this. Um, which brings me to the next point. Do we need some never brick stairs? We probably are. Um, do I keep saying um a lot. I say that in all my videos. It must be my favourite word. Keep that. Stone slabs. Move that there. Actually, we're going to need that. Move that. And we'll go into creative and we'll try and find some uh, never brick stairs. There should be some around. There we go. And we need to start thinking about where the stairs are going to go. Nope. So underneath, so that we can get the stairs placed correctly. Nope. Nope. Okay, you're going to play hardball. That's fine. So two can play that game. Probably the only way we're going to have to do it. Anyway. Uh, so we'll continue down with the stairs. Until we reach the bottom. Have we got far enough to go? I think we have. Although saying that though. That's actually a point. I didn't actually think about that design. If I'm building the stairs and they're coming down here, how are people going to walk along the balcony here and get off at this point? Hmm. Didn't think about that, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, dear. Problems galore. I'll not worry about that just yet. Let's just get the stairs roughly in place. Now why? Why? There we go. I was beginning to wonder. There we go. Oh, no. So that's the stairs. I suppose we could have two separate entrances, actually. You know what? That could actually feed up here. So you can come round onto the balcony. And then there'll be a door here. So yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. I think that'll be okay. That'll be fine. But what we could do, get rid of that block. Get our stripped birch log. Place another one. Oh, no, not there. There. And then we're going up. With the supports. I'm not sure how many videos this is going to take to complete. Um... 
so I don't I definitely know that this isn't going to be completed in this video so there may be an additional part or maybe two more parts I don't know we're just going to see what happens uh, and how long it's going to take uh, I may decide to do a bit of work off camera to try and speed this build up uh, go under the stairs actually come to um, that could go there and then this could go here like so it's getting dark so I've got a bed over here which can go to sleep I mean I can carry on building through the night but what I have <coughs> excuse me what I have witnessed in my previous tutorials and builds when it starts getting dark if I don't have a little area you guys can't see what I'm doing and then effectively I am wasting my time even doing a tutorial if you cannot see what I am doing so that's why I'm rushing over to my bed so that I can get to sleep so that then I can show you what exactly that I'm doing it's there's a method in my madness there's always a method in the madness uh, and this is my method and it'll benefit you guys if you are interested in building this structure um, which if you are you know fair play to you if you're not and you just enjoy watching builds how to builds or just people just building structures in minecraft then again you know that's fair enough Ooh, hello what are you doing there that's fine that'll do nicely okay um so now we've got our entrance more or less planned out can we actually trim this part have i done anything there now I've, I've just left that as it is yeah because if it's too thick it, it just looks wrong um and i like the pattern as well as well as the never brick it, it sort of breaks up the uh, the color and the texture of the build so yeah you could have an entrance here which enables you to walk onto this undercover first level. Well, that's a balcony up there. That's sort of like a first floor um, part to the balcony. But look at that. I mean, just look how this has turned out. I mean, look at the view you've got there as you're looking out into the town, as you walk out of the bar. Oh, I can't wait for this structure to be built. And we've added a few more buildings to this town. And it really does start taking shape and looking like a western town. It does now, in my opinion. But once we've got a few more structures and buildings added to it, then it's really going to look good. As you can see in the distance over there, I've been doing a bit more um, landscaping. I've been filling in the sea over there because my overall plan is to try and make this look like a dusty, sandy, deserty, western, barren landscape with a town that's stuck in the middle of it. That's my plan. Whether it works or not is another question. But <laughs> I have no time scale as to when this needs to be completed, so I'm under no pressure. Okay. So we're going to go up the corner of this build. Um, build. Building. Corner of this building. There we go. Get your words right. And we need to figure out where we're going to put a door. On this level, I reckon, the door should be, what we've got there, one, two, one, oops, two. So we should have a single door there, I feel. So, build that up, build that up there. Now then, what have we done at the front? Are we wanting a simple door? Because that's the entrance there. Are we wanting to use the never brick to create an entrance? I suppose we could. Let's see how this looks. Get the never brick stairs, place that upside down, then we could place a door there. Hmm. That could be interesting. And then across here. Could fill that in. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. Okay, 
That's fine. That looks okay. What would it look like if we place some stripped birch logs on the top part? Because this needs to look right in order for us to carry on. And that looks nice, actually. I think I like that. Let's just roll with it. Yes. Yes, that's what we're going to do. That's how it's going to be tied in. And I suppose what we could do as well, we could get rid of a block there, get rid of a block there. We'll get that stripped birch log. I love this. these stripped logs, what they've done to the game. They've made building so much better and you've got s more materials to choose from um and that looks that looks tasty i like that um so now i, c I can leave this effectively to one side because we are going to probably want to place a few more windows down um but we want to get the overall frame of the structure right so then we know what we're going to be working with where everything's going to go what we're going to be doing um and also essentially what we're going to be doing in the back part here so anyway we're going to go around working on the frame and then we can fill in the frame as and when with whatever we need it's so that it gives us the skeleton structure to work with and then it just makes building a lot simpler once when you've laid everything out. Um, so here, I'm going to go along and that is the border, the boundary for the next level. Okie dokie. I suppose we might as well do the same for this as well. Marks everything out nicely. There we go. So we have a bit of space inside to work with. I mean, it's not going to be a massive saloon, but it's, going to, it's certainly going to be big enough. Um, we've got a level up there. Maybe at the back there we could make some rooms. Or maybe along here we could make some rooms. But we'll need a an access point to get up. Uh, maybe that could be somewhere at the back, possibly. Who knows? Where are we going to have another door? So where's that? That's there. I suppose we could actually try create a little bit of symmetry, not too much. Uh, it's just going to be a single door, so that's in line with that there. So it creates like a, a secret entrance and exit to the build. So we'll get our bricks and we'll go up. We need that there? No, we don't. No, we don't. Place that there. So, using our strip birch wood again, we're going to go along the top to create that. Let's see how that looks. Yep. Yeah. You know what? That looks okay. That doesn't look too bad. Um, and what colour wood have we used? Have we used a dark wood? Yeah, we've used a dark wood, haven't we? Um, what doors have we got? Dark oak wood doors. Yeah, that's perfect. So we'll get rid of them. We might as well place the doors in. While we think about it, we could get rid of that block there. Um, probably going to have to keep that block in, actually. Um, you know what? We'll keep them in. Yeah, we'll keep them in. It's fine. So place a door there. And a door there. And then we'll have a quick sneaky peep. See how that looks. Beautiful. So you have a side door, which you can get in from the side of the building, not just from the front. And then on the second level, where you get onto the second level of the balcony, can walk along the front here and there's a door to get in at the top as well beautiful okay so now what we need to do what's this there that's the spruce wood that's spruce wood as well so we'll get our stripped dark oak wood get rid of the doors 
pop birch wood slabs there. I'm going to need some dark oak wood. And what we're going to do, these are going to go this way to give us a dark floor finish. But round the outskirts of the building, we're going to be placing this floor down. That'll be the edge border. And then on the inside, I'm going to be filling in with this dark oak wood, not placing it this way, like that, but on the side. So it gives us this texture here. So what's that? That's two, isn't it? That's two. Because what we could do in the middle as well, we could mix up the pattern. And you'll see what I mean when I say mix up the pattern. Once when I've finished going round filling in the next layers like that and what you could do you could alternate the pattern like so and then in the middle you could use them just to mix everything up mix the pattern up make it different because we floors you don't want to make it look all the same and it looks boring because you, you want to add a bit of variation to what you're doing try and make it look interesting uh, so we'll go to sleep get some daylight and we'll carry on okay so that's what we've done with the floor as you can see gives us a bit of a pattern okay so what we could do we can get rid of them there make like a checkered pattern that looks nice yeah that looks nice um, I'm not sure about having two though maybe we could get rid of some of this which I'll quickly do now and then we'll carry on so I don't want to waste too much time fiddling around with a floor design that I could probably do off camera. Make sure we're keeping with the grain so that the grain is going in one direction and not the other. So if I place it this way, it's going against the grain as you can see there it looks. Actually a bit of variation looks good. Yeah, I think, yeah, we'll scatter the pattern around. Because why not? It is a Western building, and usually some buildings are just chucked together, any old how, which is what they used to do back in the good old days. Not as if I'd know what the good old days were then, because I wasn't even alive. Well, there we have it. We have our floor pattern. Fill this up so nobody's going to see or want to see stairs. Um, what have we got there? Windows. So maybe this is where the bar could be underneath. Underneath that. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, fill this wall up. I'm not going to have a window there at all. And this is where the bar's going to be. So when you come in, the bar's going to be on your left. Maybe the stairs leading up. Can be there. Possibly, maybe. Or they're going to be here. And you go up and round. Maybe, maybe. Oh! I'm not sure now because you're going to need a bit of room for the stairs. Uh, what colour stairs are we going to use? I think we're probably going to use dark, dark oak planks. Hmm. We'll probably be using that for the colour of the floor as well. Brr. 
place them down. So I've got the slabs. Okay. You see, this, this this is an important part. You see, this this can make or break this building. The layout, where everything goes, because this could make or break this building. So I think we're going to have to uh, figure out where the stairs are going to go. I was thinking of tucking them away, but then again, if that's going to be a walkway. Then, and this side's going to be where the rooms are. You're going to need an access point to get to the rooms, aren't you? Unless, I can walk along the back. That could be there. That could go around there. I suppose it could actually go here. It could do. Let's figure this out. So it's going to be four wide. I think it'll be big enough. Might actually have to do something here. Extend the build out. Let's have a look. We'll, we'll fit the stairs in first and then we can figure out after how we're going to fit everything else into the building. Um, one more. Too wide? Yep, yeah, too wide. So, we'll build the stairs. Hopefully not going to come out too far, otherwise I'm going to panic a bit. No, nope, I think we're going to be fine. There we go. Maybe we could actually add some bookshelves here. Maybe. Let's fill this in to start off with. I can always change this round if I'm not happy with how it looks. Then we can make some like fancy pillars. Could do, couldn't we? People will sit underneath here. I'll have the game of cards. So you'll come up here. Walk along here. I think we may have to extend this out. If we're going to have some rooms. And then this is going to be filled in. Got your windows there as well. And your doors there. Hmm. Okay. Okay. At least we've got something to be going by. Ooh. So. That can lead somewhere. Might as well have one on the corner here. Going all the way up. Like that. And we've got a corner piece here. Like that. How's that work? That works nicely. I can live with that. We need some fences now, so get rid of that. And these will be the banisters. Stop people from falling off, drunken people, suicidal people, suicidal? Nah. We don't have anybody that's suicidal here. Everyone's happy. They love their life. Everyone should love their life. Cause there's always something to live for. That is very true. We'll just stick with drunken people. People that get involved in fights. Not suicidal people. Because nobody should be suicidal. There's always someone to turn to if there's a problem. Always. 
Never face your fears alone. That's one thing that life teaches you. So anyway, getting back onto this build. Hmm. I think what I'm probably going to have to do now, I'm probably going to have to take a little bit of a break. Um, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll do a little bit more work off camera and see how I get on. And then, you know, if I come up with anything new, I'll just show you around what I've done. Um, and then what I haven't done, we can continue uh, and press on with this build because I, it needs to look right. It has to look right. Otherwise, we're just wasting our time even building this build. But I'm still set on building a bar in this corner. As a matter of fact, I've got the wood. It could go here. Like that. And then on top, get the dark wood. And that'll be an area where people will sit at the bar. And then, we look for the trapdoors. We'll grab some dark wood. And get rid of get rid of that, and then just decorate around the edges with some fancy trapdoors, and there you go. You have yourself a bar, and then you can have a drinks cabinet at the back there with some fancy liquor some crunchy nibbles snacks or if you're just a weary traveller and you just want a place to stay for the night you could book a room and then venture your way up and round but anyway I'm getting sidetracked here I said I'd finish this video so yeah I'm definitely finishing this video right here and I'll probably bit and bob at this uh, construction and then we'll carry on in the next video where I've left off so uh, we'll stand at the bar haven't we so yeah if you've enjoyed this uh, this build so far and you want to see more please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more <laughs> Red Dead Minecraft videos um, and certainly for me to continue this video as well uh, don't forget also I've set up a new Facebook page uh, Vital Buzz Solution VBS if you want to join that and go and check it out, feel free to do so. You can also find me on Instagram, Vital Buzz Solution, and Twitter at Vital Buzz uh, for updates, on new videos, news, and anything else that's related to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's, ooh, it's been a little bit long-winded, but it'll be worth it in the end. Take care, everyone, and keep buzzing.